Uh, one signing that certainly hasn't worked out so far is that of Calvin Phillips, of course, after making that big money move uh, from Leeds. This is what he had to say uh, about looking ahead to the next season. My intention is to stay there. I cannot give it 12 months and say I'm not playing, so I'm going to leave. As you have seen with many players at City, it can take quite a while to cement yourself into the team. Uh, he continues, I spoke to quite a few of the players, Nathan Aki being one, Jack Grealish, they all said the same. The first 12 months were the hardest of their City careers, but after that, it doesn't become easy, but easier. I'm on the brink of almost getting what Pep wants. This is tricky for Calvin Phillips, isn't it? Is it a slightly different situation, say, to that of Jack Grealish, Frank? Because, obviously, you've got Kovacic, so it's like he's coming in from Chelsea, and he's had such limited chances to impress Pep Guardiola. You kind of think there just isn't that chemistry there. Yeah, you're right, but I think it's a smart comment that he just made, and... Uh, uh, and uh... He has the right to think that if uh, Guardiola asks him to come to City, it's because he believes that he has talents and he has qualities which can be helpful to City and at one point start playing. He came a little bit overweighted and, uh, and uh, Guardiola told him. So if he goes back to the, to the fitness that he had when he was at Leeds and, and therefore signed for City, he has the chance to play like any, any, anybody else. And uh, as he explained very clearly, some players have been struggling the first year. Jack Grealish was is the best example. He was uh, naming Ake as well, but s some others can be named as well where they they've been struggling the first year because of the understanding of uh, of Guardiola's tactics, game, and uh, and maybe uh, and, and maybe uh, the way that they want he want them to 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 behave. I think Calvin is is young. Even if he's 27, he has the chance to play for the best team in the world. So he has the right to give him to give himself the chance to uh, uh, to change, you know, Guardiola's mind about himself and uh, get the risk of uh, maybe being on the bench a little bit, but uh, at some point being on the field. If it doesn't work, I can be sure that even at 28, being at City is at City is going to find any club to uh, to rebound. But I. I have no doubt that he has the quality to, to show his strengths and be on the field. I'm sure I'm wrong, but I'm struggling to think of someone who's coming that sort of money under Pep Guardiola that hasn't progressed. So you just look at it, and he's right, isn't he, well, to use I, other I, examples? I hasn't progressed, progressed in, in, in that year. I, I think, to, to his point, um, there are quite a few who struggled early on and, and then, and then come, come good. He, he named a couple. You can add Rian Mares mm -hmm. uh, to that. You can add Stone to that. Uh, uh, Stones, um, who struggled for, for a number of years and then all of a sudden now is, is being hailed as, as one of the best midfielders in, 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 in the game. Um, so if everything he says is right, if he means it. It's, it's not going to be easy to get into that team. It's not going to be easy to establish yourself in that team. But you will learn as long as you want to learn. Right. And if you, if you do as Pep wants... You will, you will find a home. You'll, you'll, get your, you'll get those opportunities. As I said, there, there are any number of, of, of players who you can look to, uh, for example, of that. But the problem is you're up against Rodri and the best midfielder in the world now, John Stones, according to... <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> some. I said some. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say I just said it's some. Shaka, there's got to be a moment where you're like, but I'm doing everything you're asking me to in training. But mm -hmm. I'm doing everything, yet you're still not giving me a chance. And he's not going to get that chance as long as Rodri continues to play at the level that he's playing. And Rodri has something that Calvin Phillips simply does not have at this point, and that is the trust, the blind trust of Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola knows exactly what he's going to get from Rodri, knows exactly, or at least has a very good idea, what he's going to get from John Stones. He doesn't know what he's going to get from Calvin Phillips. And... When you are a team like Manchester City, where every game is important because you are in all sorts of competitions, you're not willing to experiment with a player that you don't trust. So he is going to be relegated to essentially sort of the first couple of rounds of the League Cup or FA Cup. That, that's, a, that's a sort of match that he's going to play, unless, of course, there is an injury. Right. If something were to happen to Rodri, something were to happen to Stones... Then Kovacic will take... <laughs> well... <laughs> something were to happen to Kovacic. Now you get an opportunity, and it is what you do with that opportunity. Now, I was also very curious as to when Shaka was talking about you learn, 
if you want to learn. Were you talking about Dan and his Spanish? Well, well hey, don't start. <laughs> I'm going to get to that. <laughs> Shaka, would you, what would your advice be to him? To um, stay at City for at least another season to figure out what's being asked but of the you. Let's Newcastle come in and say, Cameron, under us, you're going to play every single mm. game. Okay. You're going to be the heart of that midfield. We've got Champions League. We've got exciting things happening at this club. We want you to be part of it, not on the periphery, not playing two games for City. Well, if it's Newcastle, that's different. <laughs> Should have called somebody else, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> not like I'm biased or anything. Um, given, given who Newcastle have shown themselves to be, if, if, it, if another... If another club playing at that level in the Champions League comes in, then, yeah, I think that makes the decision a whole lot easier. But if it's a mid-table club... OK. Um, I, I'm not sure... Or that a Tottenham or Chelsea. something like that. <laughs> if, you were to, yeah, if you were to go and add to, to the madness that, that no. is Chelsea Football Club, I, I don't think you make that move right. right now. But a Newcastle would make sense... OK, you're biased. Frank, would that make sense if Newcastle came and knocking? Would that be something that would tempt you? Yes. Yeah. Yes, of course, of course. Because you're a football player, you want to play. Um, and, and, as, uh, um, and because of the thing that Ali explained and, and Shaka too, about uh, what he will find in front of him uh, to compete with, it's going to be clearly difficult for him to find, except if there is an injury, uh, uh, a room in the first 11. But if Newcastle comes and you know the spirit, you know what you're going to find there, and you want to give a chance? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good deal because it's Champions League. Uh, Newcastle have the, uh, 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 the, the the willingness of getting better and better, and I'm sure you can become a leader in that in the middle of the park of that uh, great club. So, so yeah, it's uh, it's something that it's an opportunity that you have to take, and uh, and it's only about choices. That's what we face, you know, when we're football players, and you have to be fast and clever. Hopefully, Philippe's going to be one of them. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.